I realized that all of us suffer from bad baseline syndrome. We all think that the world was perfect when we were children. But of course, it was already a degraded world. For example, when you and I were kids, there were lots of insects. Now there are no more insects. I have young children. They are growing up in a world without insects. To them, it will seem normal. We are destroying the world because we are using bad baselines. So what we need to do is to regenerate it, restore it. And that means understanding how natural ecosystems work. And that's why we believe that mimicking these ecosystems, putting the trees back in the pastures and in the farmlands, is going to be fundamental to help us deal with the changing climate and to feed our growing population. So the way you do that change is extraordinarily simple. Send good, well-educated advisors to the farmers. Have them live with the farmers and have them help the farmers adapt their farming systems to make them more productive, generating more money, more biomass, more biodiversity, and more ecosystem benefits. The commons that we have today are heavily degraded commons. Deserts are spreading, farmland is degrading, and most people live in cities and are barely aware that this is going on. You have a massive advantage as an international organization over any private company. You do not represent shareholders, but you represent citizens. You represent us all. That means you have a responsibility and a mandate to help us go beyond market solutions. And the solutions we've been discussing here are not market solutions. It's very hard to make money from telling a farmer how to manage his land properly. It's a lot easier to make money by selling a farmer more inputs and more tractors, right? So let the private sector worry about selling stuff and let us worry about how to educate people. We at the World Agroforestry Center firmly believe that the solution lies in taking, in saving, in expanding the best of traditional agricultural knowledge, marrying it with the insights of modern scientific method to deliver massive, massive improvements to the landscape. I know that today we live in the age of public-private partnerships. But when we look at this, in this particular context, we need the public sector, we need you to step forward and help do this. You want to develop, invest in your farmers. And that means invest in your smallholder farmers, not in the big influential families. Thank you.